Good morning, Shannon Frazier here with Center for Personal Protection. And I get questions on the draw sometimes. How, how do we actually draw? How do we go from here to putting bullets on the target? I teach the NRA method. There's, there's four step draw, there's a grip it and rip it method. You hear all kinds of stuff, see all kinds of stuff. But we teach the NRA method because there's some parking places in, in the process of the draw that will help you do other things. Uh, let me demonstrate it real quick for you. First thing, we're facing our target. We're going to access the handgun. We're going to put our hand on the pistol, and we're going to get our other hand out of the way. This one is a good place to get shot if you're in a fight. you got your hand full of bad guy. So we want to learn to get our hand off the bad guy on us. Grip, chest, pull. We're, all we're doing is clearing the holster. We don't, we don't want to do any excess motion. The tendency is to come way up here. We don't need to. We're clearing the holster. The third step, our hand is still on our chest or our belly. We're going to rotate. The hand going to be pointed down somewhat. If we're actually going to shoot from here, we would rock. And that'll bring the muzzle up enough to make a hit. The next step is join, or actually center. We're centering the gun up. This is the high ready position. I can shoot from here and make hits out to about 15, 20 feet. The last step is present. We're punching the gun out, we can shoot. When we bring it back in, we're at the high ready again. And so we're able to shoot from here. We're gonna scan and assess, make sure there's no more threats. The, the last step, we're gonna put our hand on our chest and we're gonna reholster. Let me show you that kind of quick and actually shoot. I got my trusty timer here. And let's see how quick we can actually pull off a draw and shoot. And about 127, that's, that's good for me. I'm about a 130 guy. Okay, let's try that again, see what happens. Okay, about a 138, and that's about what I normally do. I actually hit the plate that time too, so that's good. Um, the reason we have the six, seven step draw, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm over here, I need to draw pull, rotate, can I shoot from here? Yes, I can. Can I shoot from here? I can shoot from here and make hits at 20 feet. That's two hits right there. Didn't even aim. Point shooting is a good way to defend your weapon. I can, when I punch out, see what I'm saying? Now when I'm holstering, fingers off the trigger, hand is back on the chest and a holster. As we put this all together, it kind of, kind of blends together and you may not be able to see each distinct step. I'll, I'll actually, I'll hit my timer, and so you can see what I would do. And the steps are kind of indistinct and blurred together. But the reason we teach the way we do is if somebody's five feet away, we'd use a speed rock. If somebody's ten feet away and coming toward us, there's multiple attackers, we would probably use the high ready position. We would shoot from here. It's called shoulder point shooting. And if they're 20 feet away, we can punch out and make a, make a deliberate shot. When we come back here, we're still at the high ready. We're able to scan and assess. Then we put our hand on our chest and smoothly holster. Um, that way we're, we make sure we're safe and everything. That's your six step. That's NRA six step draw the way I teach it. And um, each, each, each movement, each step has a purpose.